Oh, uh, hey, we're at Overland Expo here in uh, Loveland, Colorado, Mountain West, and we've got our van on display over here. And then we're at the Battle Born Batteries booth. Been here uh, all weekend. It's day three. It's actually hot today. First day was super rainy. And uh, we just wanted to bring you along on a little bit of a walk around of Overland Expo and kind of show you some of the cool things to see here. At these events, there is so many cool new things to see. It's kind of overwhelming. You know, you've got new Tacomas, you've got new uh, cruisers, all this kind of stuff. But personally, I really, really like to see old vehicles that have been restored uh, and upgraded for some pretty awesome off-road capabilities. And so I've picked out three in particular that I want to share with y'all. Here is here at the Overland Journal tent is this Toyota Land Cruiser. And I just really love these. You know, they're pretty timeless. They're always just rugged. Uh, so this one in particular, we'll get to the best of the best parts later. So a solid front axle on this one, leaf spring up here. Everything's been restored really nicely on it. Up top, at a roof rack kind of platform scenario. It's just been restored super nicely, real clean. But the part that's caught my eye as I was walking past is up here. So checking under the hood, got an LS3 Corvette motor that they put in here with an insane amount of detail done to keeping it clean. It's just such a cool thing to see. It's like, obviously this is not a stock motor. So very, very powerful motor installed in an old vehicle. I just, I love this kind of stuff. It's great. The next one we're going to look at is over here in kind of the camping area, uh, camping show vehicles area, if you will. Uh, so there's a vendor area, which is kind of like over this way. And then there's more of like a camping show vehicle over here that has a lot more other vehicles that aren't necessarily like selling products or something like that. So let's go over here. Here is my next pick for coolest restoration at Overland Expo. One of my all time favorite older vehicles, International Scout. And it's cool to just see these in good condition on the body panels and underneath how clean this thing is. Because these are just I mean, realistically old farm trucks. And by the time you get them this old, they're rusted out and they've been used and abused um, you know, <laughs> for years and years and years on farms and everything like that. But this thing is absurdly clean. Big leaf packs, airbag suspensions, external diesel filters in the back. It's been done really, really well. But similar to the last vehicle we showed you, my favorite part is up under the hood. So on the front, got a little indicator of uh, what we're dealing with here. Oh, Cummins turbo diesel swap in here. Not an engine expert, but I think it's a 12 valve. Cummins turbo diesel, big turbo right there, plexiglass on the filter there. Just beautiful. Well done on this. And it's such a cool look too, putting that in with the Free Spirit Recreation rooftop tent, all black everything up front. Rhino rack, Rome box up there, swing arm box on the back with the bat wing around the back for some shade, which is uh, honestly really needed today. There it is, resto number two. Let's go find resto number three. I think it's that way a little ways. My pick for number one favorite restoration here is this old Jeep. And it's just, there's been people around it all weekend. Every single time I've come over here, it's just wonderfully restored. The paint is impeccable on it. It's just cool to see a Jeep like this that has been restored to this degree with, you know, the off-road bumpers, come up winch on the front, underneath, solid front axle. 
Let's see what kind of shocks are those. ADS racing, racing shocks there with the external reservoir. Full leaf springs up here. Really clean. And then in the back, got the flatbed back here. All the storage options behind these doors. Full size spare mounted to the headache rack. Totally modern look from the back on this wonderfully restored Jeep. All the way around. Similar to the uh, Scout we just shared. Also Cummins turbo diesel inside of this guy. So our van has been on display and we've been giving tours and everything like that, some training seminars uh, here at the Battleborn booth, our electrical system and got all of our fun stickers and stuff like that, electrical system, uh, roof rack. We're actually making some power today, so that's nice. Uh, the other day we had an entire flood come through here. It was raining like absolute crazy. Uh, we do have the full team uh, here at the Battle Worm booth. We got Chad and Steph's over there, Nicholas, Eric, Mason from Battleborn. Grace is uh, not back there, and Rob's around here somewhere. But anyway, that's what we've got going on. Oh, the uh, Tacoma from Sin City Overland. They've got a really cool electrical system in there. We're gonna cut y'all's conversation off. Check their system out here in the back of their Tacoma. Dual solar charge controllers, multi plus 2K inverter charger. ARB refrigerator that has seen some shit, but it's still working fine. But what we're going to do at this event is uh, we're actually sending everybody out from the team on their own side quests. And they're going to be finding the coolest things that they have chosen uh, for their own topics here at Overland Expo. So I'm going to turn it over to one of the team members and they're going to show you what they have found here at Overland Expo. Hey guys, I'm Steph and I'm going to be showing you my favorite company slogans and favorite stickers of Overland Expo. So let's start with my top favorite and that's going to be ours and Battleborns. We've got these really awesome stickers that just say I made this which are super popular with the DIY crowd because you guys should show off that you made this. Then our newest stickers say the power, whoop, the power to explore. These are awesome. And then our OG stickers. I think this one is by far my favorite is hashtag don't die. They sell um, a bunch of medical supplies and like first aid kits and stuff like that. So super cool. And of course, we've got the Battleborn Batteries slogan here. Get out there, stay out there, and lead is dead. Hey, this is Chad with Explorers Life. We're out here at Overland Expo Mountain West. And this is easily gonna be the best segment of the YouTube video as we run through some of the best uh, overlanding experiences they have out here. We're gonna go test drive a few vehicles. <laughs>
Maurice, how did you do? I think you did a great job. Smooth did. ride back here. Time. Before in particular? Just having a good time. Yeah? yeah. Okay. Locked <laughs> all the way to me. All the way around. You got it, brother. Good job, straight to the Volcon Grunt got the big first spin. Hey, this is Grace with Explorers Life making her once per year appearance in front of the camera. We just got back from Overland Expo, and while there were a lot of really cool rigs there, there are also a lot of dogs. The Explorers Life team didn't get to bring any of their dogs, horses, or other animals, so I decided to go around and show you guys the coolest ones that we saw. Take your butt. Hey there guys, Nicholas here from Explorers.life. Uh, I'm gonna be going around and doing a walkthrough of the vehicles that I'm trying to get Nate and Steph to let me put on the company card. Um, so I'm just gonna go through and show you a couple of the vehicles that I'm liking here um, and we can get started. All right, so the first vehicle on my list is this Tundra that is done up by Juniper Overland. <laughs> Has one of the fancy Al cabs on it. You can see it's completely well done. The inside here. Super cool wrap. Loving the colors. Alrighty, here we have the cheapest on the list. This is a Suzuki Samurai, uh, but it's the best version. Completely redone. Perfect condition. Alrighty, and last one on the list, we're going with the Nissan. What'd you say? You put it on the company car. Why? <laughs> 
the Nissan GTR R35. We got the full tent camper on top. I imagine how you climb over a car this expensive. <laughs> So thanks for coming with us on this little walk around of Overland Expo. As you can see, there's just a tons of different things you can see here, whether you're in the market for buying something uh, or you're just trying to look around or get hands on, it's a great way to spend a whole day. There's so many different things to see here. It's pretty overwhelming, but you come here with kind of a goal to see you know, what it is that you want to see and just ask questions, come with questions. All the vendors here are knowledgeable and are very willing to talk to you, especially on day three, uh, whenever things are starting to kind of wind down. I uh, hope you had a good chance to kind of get to know the rest of the team. Uh, you know, Steph, you guys know her. Uh, Grace, she's been around for a while running all the video operations. And then Chad, Nicholas, and Rob, been sending out all the orders that you guys place on shop.explorus.life for a while at this point. And I'm glad you had a chance to get to meet them, and learn a little more about them, and the things that they like to see at Overland Expo. There's a few of them around the nation at various times. You can always check out their site. And, <laughs> and there's Steph right there. And that's pretty much it for this video. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>